welcomes Adam Sandler, NBC Tonight. Next Tuesday, it's Hot Wheels Mania with WWE superstar Big E. Feel the power! It's a supercharged SmackDown. <laughs> Hot Wheels Ultimate Challenge, next Tuesday on NBC. We like to be surprised. For everyone's safety, we've had to remove the audience. Oh, what Wait. about us? How about the flight? What does that mean? NBC4 News at 11 starts with breaking news. That breaking news is from Castaic tonight, where firefighters have their hands full right now, battling a brush fire. Airdrops helping them get the upper hand of what's known as the dry fire. Appropriate name, wouldn't you say, because this is one of several fires today. Hot, dry conditions team up now to create dangerous fire conditions. We have live team coverage. Meteorologist Melissa McGee is here with more on the extreme heat that's coming our way this week. But let's start right now with Robert Kovacic. He is live in Castaic for us. Robert. And Colleen, we have a tremendous response here because they had to hit this fire fast and they had to hit it hard. This is a U.S. Forest Service handle, but L.A. County firefighters are helping out. As you take a look right now from New Shopper 4 overhead, there are still some flames. We're looking at about 14 acres or so. Right now, about 50 percent contained. But as we bring in John Miller and we take a look at some video, John, as you just said, we got lucky here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. We're noticing the last few days, especially last night, you saw that LA City Fire had two fires, one in Chatsworth, one off McKay. Uh, we've had some fires on Interstate 5. It's getting warmer and it's gonna, getting drier. We're anticipating between now and Monday, humidities anywhere from 5 to 15%. And when it comes tonight to fight a fire like this, normally we look for these fires to lay down. It's not necessarily happening with these conditions. Right. We're not quite getting those nighttime recoveries that are really beneficial where the humidity comes up and the temperature drops. So, of course, our response is going to be immediate, decisive and aggressive. John, when you look at the situation tonight, what do we have in these overnight hours? We had a church that was threatened here tonight. We did have some homes in the area that were threatened. Right now, as you said, the fire cooperating somewhat. The wind is pushing it. You're, of course, right by the lake, so you've got water droppers here that, that can, can utilize that. The overnight hours, what's ahead? Well, you know, we did have the night flying helicopters from the Forest Service in L.A. County working this fire really knocked it down. Now it's the hard grunt work of the hand crews and the firefighters starting to cut fire line. They're gonna work all night and into tomorrow. Okay, and John, let, let's just turn around for a second and Eddie show us here. John, this is just some of the apparatus that we are gonna see in the hillsides of Southern California as they are going to look this week a dangerous week ahead and we've got to utilize all of the materials and all of the equipment we have including these dozers absolutely the forest service the city and the county and in a lot of the other cities anytime we get a report of smoke from the public we're going to hit it hard listen we've got the best firefighters in the world right here in southern california you ready for what's ahead well you plan for the absolute worst and hope for the best I like that, that. that is the strategy. And, and Colleen, it bears repeating what John Miller, who we've known for decades, just said. And let's repeat it again. The response is going to be immediate, decisive, and aggressive. That's going to be the response. Hopefully we see all this week and beyond as the hot summer is here right now in Southern California. Absolutely. John Miller, U.S. Forest Service, thank you so much. Colleen, once again, we're looking at about 14 acres, about just over 50 percent yeah. containment. We're live here tonight off Lake Hughes Road in Castaic. This road remains closed and you just swing around and you see the tremendous response here. This is what we're going to see in the days ahead. Colleen, let's go back to you. Definitely a sign of things to come, Robert. Thank you. Now, as we mentioned, there were other fires out there today. On the left is a fire that burned three acres in the Sepulveda Basin. On the right hand side of your screen was a brush fire that burned 36 acres in the hills just east of Moreno Valley. This is just the beginning of the hottest stretch of the year so far. So with a look at what we can expect this week, here's meteorologist Melissa McGee. Melissa? Yeah, and Colleen, it is dry, it is warm, it is only going to get hotter as the days wear on. Here's a picture outside. We are looking live at the Coenga Pass, and you can see Universal Studios. It is very mild tonight. We're currently coming in at 76.